Again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. This is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. That is my usual layered rim core cut. I think I am going to start with some white enamel in the bottom. Oh, maybe I'm not. <laughs> well, I was right out of the gate. See how that goes? Okay. Now, let me start with something else in the bottom. Let's start with some folk art gold with a little bit of gold mica powder mixed into it. And then we'll hope that I can get this enamel going again. But I think what I'm going to use next is some black enamel. So this is going to be a ribbon pour, but it's going to be looping. No bugs, please. That is some iridescent folk art color shifting. It's called Purple Flash. This is a dioxidine purple. There is some more of that. That is a white enamel from folk art. I'm going to keep throwing colors in here I like. That is a golden product that's magenta. That's getting clogged. Hey, came out. That's awesome. <laughs> I am going to use some color shifting orange from folk art that I'm finally getting around to using up along with some deco art I saw that where'd it go some deco art Americana gold 24 karat gold with a little bit of orange in there I made this Velveeta color I have no idea what to tell you about that I'm going to grab a little bit of this pink enamel And what else, what else, what else? I think I want some of this beautiful blue. And I really want to go with less is more, just because I want to spread out what I've got. I'm going to put some Prussian blue in there, because I always like Prussian blue. That's looking like it could use a little dose of Floetrol added to it, just because it's getting pretty thick. This is a multi-surface acrylic from Folk Art, and I am going to add a little bit of gold mica powder mixed with Deco Art Pouring Medium, and GAC 800 by Golden to keep things from cracking is mixed into everything. If I want to use the black enamel last, do I? Yeah, I kind of do. Okay, so I'm going to leave these close by. Oh, I never put the red opal in there, and I've got this other beautiful color too. Okay then. I don't know what color this is, other than purple, with some golden pearl iridescent medium in there. Golden pearl iridescent fine it's called. You can only buy it in four ounce containers. That uh, That's the red opal, but it's very close to copper. So, my plan includes spreading some color on my background. So I have some place to add the ribbons to. And I think I'm just going to go for all three this time. Make sure that one's shaken up. And that's probably more color than I need for sure. This is my OXO omelet turning spatula called a flip and fold. It is on the Amazon link under the link tree. If you shop there, it's at no added cost to you, and it helps support the studio continuing to make videos. So I really appreciate that. I want to thank you, say thank you to everybody who shops the Amazon link. Really, really, really appreciate you doing that. So I'm just playing now, spreading my paint, knowing that I'll get cells. and liking to see what happens. And I often don't want to do anything to this. <laughs> so maybe if I make a little mess of it, you'll understand that it's because I'm trying my hardest to make something I don't want to save because I do want to use my colors. I'm just going to use whatever falls over the edge on this one side, right off my spatula, to cover that one edge. Nice cells. You could do this. 
really nice cells. Now I'm going to throw that in the bucket. Oh, there's two of them in there now. I need to clean the other one off. Okay, well, I got a little black paint on there, but I guess it'll be okay. So, now, do I really want that red opal to be my last color? And the truth is, I do not. So I'm going to put some gold in there. And then I'm going to move all over the place. So my colors become mixed up. And the shapes are odd because it's what I want to do. It's what I was thinking about before I got to this point. So no matter what I do, I'm going to leave half of that cup. No matter what I do, this has got to be about tipping. Usually I'll pour one area and let it flatten out somewhat. I'm looking for, and I know I have an edge catcher here. It's always something I like to keep handy, perched on my perched on my tile on my turntable. Those are kind of interesting colors. If I let that paint flow over, I can also rock it on the edge catcher. Any paint that goes on my edge catcher, oh, I've got a big bottle of black in my way. I want that out. I don't think I'm going to need much of that cup <laughs> at all. All right, I'm going to put that beside me since this is working out pretty interestingly. I've got a pair of tweezers. These are also available on the Amazon link. The things I see that do not belong. I'm going to wipe that off. So that's cool. I really like that. Now I could do all kinds of stuff. I could do stuff like grab a clean skewer which if you keep them clean, you're probably better off. And I could drag all kinds of stuff right out. Hey, it's a Because I Can moment. Because I Can is the name of my first book. You can find it on the Amazon link next to my second book called Unlimited Possibilities. That's Those are cool marks. Really liking that a lot. So I'm just barely dipping that skewer into some color. And I'm not pushing on it at all. I'm just dragging it. Except for that. But that gave me a whole roll of paint to go down over my side to cover my edge. And I like that. I want to do the same thing with that, the residuals right over here. Maybe I'll leave this one early on and just use my colors for something else. Take my paint color right off my skewer and put it onto the edge of the canvas right there. I'm really liking that. I want to use the sharp end ever so gently. Now I really could take my bottle of gold and just spread some paint. That is really neat. It's time to decide if I'm going to tell you guys I sell my artwork <laughs> and uh, to shop my Amazon link. I think I mentioned that. I have over 1360 videos that you can find if you go to all playlists and then look for created playlists. I'm really en so enjoying what I'm seeing Without going too much further, I'm, I'm thinking that that's just going to be the way this works out right, right now. It'll be a quickie. What I'm going to do is use my black and just put a couple more lines in there. And I don't mind if, I don't mind if there's a bottle in the way. I always mind if there's a bottle in the way. Whatever else I put in here, I could put dollops of paint and then just tip it down. I kind of want to show you guys that. And maybe I can take this paint before it gets wasted. It's on my edge catcher. It's totally beautiful. And decide that it can go somewhere like right there.
Yeah, that doesn't really bother me. That'll go right over the edge. And anything else on that edge catcher can probably go right onto the edge and cover it up. And as long as it's kind of thick and very wet, it will probably cover quite nicely. I'm going to steal a little bit of paint right there. So that's cool. That's basic. And I'm going to do what I, what I normally do, which is to put some black paint between my finger and the canvas and let it roll down so I have a chance to cover that edge right now before it gets any later in this process. Then I'm going to torch. And I really, really like what I've got, even though it's not as complicated as I was expecting it to become. I'm trying to learn restraint. And you guys know that's not easy for me. So what else should I tell you? I always tell you stuff. I have Teespring clothing below the video. I'm still covering my edge. And it's got all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts. I've got not just Teespring, but Pixels.com and Fine Art America. And those links are under the Teespring excuse me, under the link tree. And the link tree will also take you to Facebook groups where you'll see tomorrow's video on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. Good place for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More is where the Fine Art America Pixels.com Shop Now button will take you. You can find those face masks there if you're looking for them. I'm going to do one more little dose on this side before I torch. Loving that red opal. I'm going to sneeze. <sighs> I think I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> All right. Maybe I'm not going to sneeze. I really thought I was going to sneeze. My torch is really, really full of gas. It's a brand new torch. I love my torch head. It's from Art Resin. They don't tell me, they don't pay me to tell you that. It's a $50 head, but in the long run, even in the short run, it kind of pays off because butane canisters are five bucks a piece. And I went through a lot of those and five torches. Now, should I decide that I want to do something else to this tomorrow, I can add more paint. Oh, I don't want to melt my edge catcher. I was, it was, I was getting really used to the uh, torch being nice and low. <laughs> now I have to sort of learn how to spot a bubble or an object. My Amazon link has these tweezers on it, as well as lots and lots of other cool stuff. I'm going to try and stay to the heavier parts of the paint. And I'm going to hope I don't run out of canvases today, because I'm getting kind of low. And what should I tell you guys? Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for sharing my videos. I really, really appreciate that. Um, I have Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links if you want to go to one of those places. They're under the link tree. And I told you about the videos. There's 1,360 of them organized by genre and by topic. And um, there's a drawing. And you can find, you can enter the drawing by, by contributing to help keep the studio going through PayPal or Patreon. Thank you to everyone who has. I want to add some more of that. Should I? I will. Because I can because I want to. I'm going to gently, ever so gently pull it out because I already torched and I should not do that. So thank you guys for all the contributions that have kept me painting all this time. Thank you for the wonderful comments to keep my morale boosted. And uh, I could probably tip, but I think it would be wise to just count my blessings and move on. So I love you guys. There's 87,000 of you or there's within 80 of that right now. And uh, I hope you keep watching. There's a video posted at midnight and sometimes 12.30. And Phoenix Rising, Priscilla Bats All Art, is another channel I have. has no commercials on it. And I don't know how long it'll be around, but enjoy it while it is if you want to. That's bugging me. Sometimes I have to stand back in order to see what I might want to change. There. I'm good. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.